The 2013 World Series getting underway at Fenway Park in Boston. It is the St. Louis Cardinals and Boston Red Sox locking horns for the fourth time in history and for the first time since 2004. Adam Wainwright opposed by John Lester on Wednesday night as Fenway Park all decked out for this one. Mary J. Blige belting out the national anthem. Carl Yastrzemski with the ceremonial first pitch. Pick it up bottom one, Wainwright in some trouble. It is 2-1 one and 1 away for David Ortiz. He bounces it to the right side. The toss to Pete Cosma, but the ball deflecting off his glove. Now initially, second base umpire Dana Demuth calls Dustin Pedroia out at second base. But as you watch the replay, it is pretty clear that Cosma comes nowhere close to catching this ball. John Farrell comes out to argue his point. The umpires get together and the call was reversed. That brings out Mike Matheny, but his argument falls on deaf ears. So that sets the stage for the next Red Sox batter, Mike Napoli. Swing and there's a shot. Rifle in the left center. It's into the alley. It's on the grass. It's on the track. It's up against the wall. Ellsbury scores. Pedroia scores. Big Poppy turning around. He will score. He slides in. That's a three-run double. Three-nothing Boston. WEEI with the call. What a turn of events in the first inning. Now let's check out Lester in the top of the second as he was looking good. Lester facing Yadier Molina. That's a called third strike. And then it's David Freeze, a similar fate. Three nothing, it remains. Let's go bottom two, leading off the frame is Stephen Drew. Now usually not much comes in between Wainwright and Molina, but this time the ball does. It is a leadoff single for Drew. Later in the inning, it's two on and one away for Shane Victorino. He sends it to Cosma. That's his second error of the night. So that loads the bases. And the Cardinals having all sorts of problems in the field. Next batter for the Red Sox is Dustin Pedroia. He finds the hole on the left side. Ribby single to make it a 4-0 game. Next batter for the Red Sox is David Ortiz. As he looks to make this a really big inning for the Red Sox, Ortiz drills it high and deep to right field. Could it be his second grand slam of the playoffs? Not quite. Carlos Beltran, a great grab to rob Ortiz of the granny. It's a sack fly nonetheless but Beltron slamming hard into the wall on this catch. He suffers a rib contusion and left the game in the third. X-rays negative, Beltron is day to day. Let's pick it up top four. Alvin Craig, his first action since September 4th in the D8 spot in game one. He singles here to make it two on with one away. Two batters later, bases now loaded, still just one out. It is David Freeze at the plate. Here it is, and David Freeze swings and grounds it to the pitcher, stabbed by Lester to the plate, out on to first, double play. One, two, three. W-E-E-I with the call. Top five, Lester dealing to Matt Adams, who leads off the inning. Adams smacks it into left field. Johnny Gomes comes on to make a great diving grab. That's out number one. What a play there by Gomes. But later in the inning, it is second and third, two men away for Beltron's replacement, John Jay, bouncing this one up the middle. Nice play by Steven Drew to retire the side. Let's go bottom five. It is Dustin Pedroia who leads off the frame, facing Wainwright. Petey sends it deep down the right field line. Shane Robinson with a great grab into the wall. Robinson moving over into right field after Beltron departed. Let's go back to Lester as he works in the top of the sixth, facing Alan Craig with one man away. And Craig looks at strike three. That's out number two. Then David Freeze down in the seventh. And then it's Shane Robinson, the swing and a miss. Lester ties a career postseason high with eight Ks in game one. Bottom seven after Pedroia reached on a two-out error that would have closed out the inning. It is Ortiz back at the plate, now facing Kevin Segrist. He swings and drives one, high and deep, right center field, back by the bullpen, Robinson, and you can forget about this one. A two-run homer for David Ortiz, and the Red Sox lead it 7 to nothing. a high, towering blast. Out where the pitchers sit in the Red Sox bullpen, 7 nothing Boston. WEEI once again, Ortiz's 16th career postseason homer. That ties Carlos Beltran for eighth on the all-time list. Back to Lester in the eighth. As he faces Matt Carpenter, the harmless fly towards left center. Jacoby Ellsbury puts this one away. That was Lester's final pitch. Following seven to two thirds scoreless innings, he gives up just five hits and the rousing ovation from the Fenway faithful. A Matt Holiday ninth inning homer ruined the shutout bid, but the Red Sox win game one nonetheless, eight to one, as they stretch their World Series winning streak to nine. John Lester became just the third pitcher in history to have scoreless outings in each of his first two World Series starts. The others are Madison Bumgarner and Christy Mathewson, who did it in his first three starts. For more on the Red Sox game one victory, here's Tim McMaster and Jack Morris from Fenway Park.
The Adam Wainwright we saw in game one of the World Series, not the Adam Wainwright we're used to seeing in the postseason. Five innings, five runs, three of them earned, and he just didn't have it early on. You know, it looked like he came out a little tentative. He couldn't get the breaking ball over in the first couple innings. He finally found it, but it was already too late. He has to throw strikes, command the strike zone early. He didn't do that early today. And two of those runs unearned, as I said, the defense didn't help him out either. Well, that's the problem there, too. He, in fact, he hurt himself with the ball that he should have caught. He called it, called it, and then he looked at his catcher, a little confusion, ball drops, no good. On the other side of things, John Lester, a special night, seven and two-thirds scoreless frames for him. He was just on from the you start. You know, John Lester came out and he commanded the strike zone early. He threw strike one right away. He got out of the first inning with only four hitters at the plate, and he was able to pinpoint the ball in and out. He really had good command tonight. The Red Sox win their ninth consecutive World Series game. For Jack Morris, I'm Tim McMaster for MLB.com.